Frank Seppi for NPC News Online. Here at the NPC Photo Gym in Pittsburgh, I am here with the ultra successful men's physique pro, George Brown. George, Pittsburgh. Here we are again. Yeah, Pittsburgh, <laughs> man. Uh, this is where it all started for me. This is my first uh, like major show back in 2013, I think. And, uh, you know, it's, it's still the same feeling, you know. So this is where it all started, and I can't wait till the show. I was just talking to Andre Ferguson about competitors, men's physique competitors who competed five, six years ago, and half of them aren't, most of them aren't here anymore. And he said, you know, it's, you're still here and getting better, you know? Yeah, man, uh, it's just evolution, you know. Uh, I think what, what happened is a lot of uh, the guys that were there, uh, bodybuilding was something that they had been doing for a long time, and for me it was new, you know. So uh, I had to learn a lot of things. I had to learn how to train learn how to eat properly, learn how to diet properly, mm -hmm. you know, and so I'm just kind of getting in my groove as far as the sport as a whole, you know, so uh, I think that's what you're seeing. Yeah, I mean, you just won a show oh, two weeks ago? Yeah. Was it two weeks ago you just won an, uh, another show? How many is that? Six. Six, yeah. all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Six times, man, and uh, I think that one was like one of my better packages, definitely. You yeah, know? you look phenomenal in that show, and you know what? If you're in a sport and you see, especially men's physique, there's so many competitors now. I mean, so many new pros. And to stay on top, you know, is a testament to how hard you work. Yeah, it, it is, but it's just, uh, I think th what they don't realize is you gotta learn lessons, mm -hmm. you know? So this whole experience for me has been a learning uh, uh, experience, you know? So, you know, it's the attention to details uh, that gets you, you know, wins or losses you know and through the years from you know traveling the way you travel the way you eat and you know if it shows at nine in the morning if it shows at five in the evening those those different variables learning your body working with different coaches just the whole everything as a whole that doesn't come overnight mm -hmm. you know so if you look at some of the guys who are at the top trust and believe they paid their dues and you know it's the reason why they're at the top and stand at the top you know so just pay your dues i think it also comes down to accountability a lot of pros don't want to make that change or they go on Instagram, they start believing their own hype and they, you know, they're like, oh, I don't need to get bigger. Look at this picture. Look at this picture. Who do you go to in that instance to say, listen, give me it straight up? Uh, Andre Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Mont Emmons. Uh, yeah, you got to keep uh, people around you that are not going to fluff you, you know, and they're going to shoot it to you straight, you know, and I've, I've had a, uh, I don't know, like a year ago or something like that, I had one of my worst shows. And uh, Andre came up to me flat out, you know, showed me a picture of me and him at a New York Pro that I had won. He looked me dead in the face and said, this is the George I know. And we know Andre, he looked at me and he walked right off, you know. And so from that point on, you got a choice, you know. Do I, you know, buckle down and get it right or do I fade off, you know, and I ain't going. <laughs> How much has your training changed in your prep since 2013? Well, I switched coaches. Um, so first I was training athletically with Mike Davies. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, as the division evolved, you know, people started to fill out. So I ch decided to go with Mandis uh, from Underground Athletes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, now I train more like a bodybuilder, more conventional. And I eat a lot more food, you know. So it's just uh, whatever the look is at that time because the looks change. If you look at bodybuilding. It even changes, you know, you might have sure. bigger, then it goes sleek, then they go back bigger. So it's the same for men's physique, and uh, you just got to evolve with whatever the look is. Yeah, yeah, Mandis is going to compete this year again, he told me. So are you going to give him the straight up? Oh, yeah, we're going to bust <laughs> his balls all day. The same way he do me, I'm going to do him. I'm going to hold him accountable, you know, because that's what happens. You know, you need people that are going to look. I'm going to hold you to the same standard. Yeah. You know, he told me that he wanted me to be great. And, you know, he kept saying, George, you're good. And I'm like, man, this, well, you, you, you told me you wanted me to be great. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hold him to that same thing. And that's how you get better. That's the importance of having a Ray, the importance of having a Dre. Mm -hmm. And people, a lot of times, they want to go at it alone. You know, so I'll say this. You got the Power Rangers, right? And, you know, they're good, you know, but you might catch one over there getting beat up when they separate, <laughs> right? So then when they all form together and they got that sword, it's a different animal, you know, so you got to look at it like that. You know, you got to work together, and then at the end, you know, it's every man for himself. Yeah, you constantly evolve what, you, what you're doing, you know, and, well, Mandis has you on the right track, obviously. You know, you won your show. What are you going to do after this contest? Uh, after Pittsburgh? Mm -hmm. uh, well, you know, get ready for Olympia, hopefully. I think I'm number three on the list, so I think I should be pretty good with points, um, considering the shows that are done, and uh, continue to make improvements, you know, in my back, and, you know, just... Uh, come in tighter and see what we can pull off at Olympia. Yeah, I mean, Pittsburgh Pro is always a lucky show for you. Yeah, yeah, ain't no <laughs> luck involved though. You gotta put the work in, you know. 
the time, you know, and, uh, uh, preparation, and, you know, you'll get success through that, you know, so. You're not going to break out the old winning men's physique chunks from that show? No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, Sugar Ray, we, we, we pull up for Ray this show. You know, there's be three of them if he gets it. You know, so right now I got my pom-poms out, not the shorts. You know, <laughs> got to support your friends, man, for real. Do you want to dispute the Andre Ferguson? He said you were 52. Nah, Dre, you know, Dre is Dre, man. We going to let him say what he say. You know, I ain't 52, though. Just know that. But, you know, just know I'm going to be in the lineup looking good, you know, so. You should say this 52-year-old guy's going to kick your ass, Jay. Yeah, yeah, he got me, man. Like you said, I ain't got nothing right now, you know. But I'm going to get him, though. Just know. Is there anyone you want to thank? Uh, yeah, man. Thank all my sponsors. Definitely, you know, uh, my mom and dad. You know, a lot of my mindset comes from them. Uh, my kids, that's where my motivation comes from, you know. And then uh, everybody, you know, who tells me I motivate and inspire them, you know, because that's my purpose. So it's my job to tell people that they can do it, you know. So I'd like to thank all of them. Uh, Powerhouse Jim, uh, Matt Catalona, my girlfriend, and uh, all friends and family, just to put everybody on there. Vital Proteins. And you're working with Maximum Muscle Report, right? It's Maximum Muscle Report, Icon Mills, um, Protan, you know, just all my sponsors. Definitely appreciate it because they make it easier for me, you know. So you work to get to a certain point to, you know, uh, when people are paying for you, you kind of owe them, and it helps you out. It helps you be successful and be who you are. So I'd like to thank everybody and anybody I forgot. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. Thank, thank you. PC News Online for always giving me exposure and helping me get to this point. MK in the house. Adam Silver in the house. And how do people follow you on Instagram? IFBB Pro George Brown. Yeah. You're going to want to follow him. And George, thank you for taking the time. Appreciate it. Good luck. And good, hopefully good luck at the Olympia, too. All right, man. It's Frank Seppi for NPC News Online. Cool. We'll see you.